Hello, I'm Jim and welcome to my channel. Today on this video, I'm going to show a really quick demonstration of how to set up an interact system. And we've seen these in many modern games. When you get close to an object, we'll see a widget that pops up that asks us to interact. When we press the E key, it'll do something. In this case, this one will print the actor's name. This one will destroy the actor. This one will make the actor float up and this one will open the door. So each of those actors has a different functionality when we call the interact action. And you can see here that I've just started with the standard third person template. I'm using Unreal Engine 5.2, so if you wanna follow along, I recommend using that version, but using a different version shouldn't be too different and you should still be able to follow along. So the first step is we need to set up our interact ability. And here I've set up an input action interact. And then you can see here that I've tied that to the E key in my input mapping context. And the next step is we're gonna be using a blueprint interface for this. So I've created BPI interact. And in here we can see that there's just one function called start interact. So the next thing is we need the ability to know when we're interacting with something that is an interactable object in the world. For instance, over here, we don't get the widget, but if I go over here, I do. Similarly, I don't get it at the floor, or if I put the cursor on the player. It's only when I'm interacting with something that has that interact interface. And to do this, I'll just show you quickly how we're doing this. We're going to use a line trace, so we're sending a line out into the world, and when that line touches something, we're going to check if it has the interact interface. So here on my event tick, we're sending a line out. We'll see here, this is a pretty common function that you would use to start at the camera and send a line out at a certain distance to the endpoint. If that line is hit by something, we'll see that here on this first branch. We then wanna get the actor that we're hitting and we wanna check, does it implement the BPI interact interface? If it does, then we have created a new variable called interacting actor and we'll set that actor as the interacting actor. If it doesn't have the interact interface or if we're not interacting with something, then we'll set the interacting actor to null. And then the last step is whether we wanna show or hide the visibility of our BPI interact. We can see here, I created a simple HUD that just has a dot right in the center. And then there's this interact widget that I made as a separate widget that I have here. And all we're doing is on our HUD, we are just setting whether that's visible or hidden. Then here with my input action interact, I'm doing a validated get of interacting actor. If we are interacting, it should be set to something. And if it's not, then it'll be null. So this will return not valid. So if it is valid, and we press the E key, we'll call the start interact function on our interact interface. And we can see here, this is the first actor, this is called the interact actor, and we're calling the start interact event. And when that happens, we'll just get the display name of this actor and print it. And this actor will be the parent to all the other actors. And that way we don't have to set up the interface every time. And we'll see that here on our destroy actor, we have this as the a child of BP interact actor. And on this one, we're just calling start interact and then we'll just call destroy actor. The next one, which again, we can see is a child. We call the start interact action. And in this one, we just have a timeline that will get the relative location of our sphere and just move it up into the world over some timeline. And the door switch is the only one that gets a little bit tricky. For this one, we've implemented an event dispatcher called open door. So when we start interaction, we're going to call open door and send that out into the world. If you're not aware of how event dispatchers work, I do have a video on that in my channel, but essentially what it is, it's a one-way communication. So this actor is going to send a message into the world and then any other actor listening will do something when it hears the message. Think of it as like an intercom system in a building. You can page someone and only that one person would respond to the page. Everyone else would just ignore it because they don't hear their name being called. And to do that on my door here, on event begin play, we're getting that door switch 
and we're binding an event to that open door event dispatcher. So when we hear open door, we'll call open, which is a different event on this actor, and that starts a timeline that'll just set the relative rotation of our hinge to open the door 90 degrees. And that's it. That's all you need to set up an interaction system in your game. For those that are interested, I've also recorded a time lapse of me setting all of these up if you wanted to see the order in which I'm doing things. And I'll put that immediately following this in this video. But if you feel like you've grasped everything and you've got it set up, then thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.